Hey everybody, it's Claire, welcome back. So glad to see you and happy Easter. Uh, we're gonna keep this short because we're doing some family stuff today, but I did wanna show you just a couple of things that we're working on. Behind me, you can see the window greenhouse Don's been building, and hopefully we'll have a full video coming out soon dedicated to that. Um, below me is a bed of cabbages, cabbages and some green onions and garlics, and then on the trellis stairs are the peas. And so I kinda wanted just to show you what my thoughts are with this bed. I took out the cabbage that was there because it had a massive aphid infestation. And now I'm starting to see these bites on this cabbage, but I'm not seeing the culprit. I've been coming out here, I've been looking underneath the leaves. But one of the things I can tell is the weather's getting warm and I just don't know that this thing is gonna head up. And since pests really like to prey on the plants that are sick or not thriving, I would rather pull this one and maybe use the cabbage leaves today for some homemade coleslaw. Um, because remember, the whole part of the cabbage is edible, not just the head. So you can still use it. Um, but I wanna save the cabbage that I think has the best chance of making it to a full head. Let me show you that one. So this is the one I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull out and try to save in cabbage leaves because this one is beautiful and it's not sick and it's growing and it's already got a good little head going. So I think this one might actually be able to do it. Now these are the Red Express cabbages planted amongst the garlic. And if you have been watching, these were the ones that were in the green stock in my front yard that I transplanted. I don't think they're gonna have time to do anything. If you go and look in there, in fact, it looks like there's aphids all over it. Do you see all those little bumps? Those are aphids. Versus this one, excuse me. This one has a few. And then that one. So it may be that these are gonna come up because we sort of knew we weren't gonna get cabbage this year, just by the way everything was growing so slowly over the winter, and so we, we went ahead and composted a lot of them already in the season. These were just ones we were saving just to see. It looks like we've got one that really could do something. Um, if you have aphids going on in your garden, you can just really squirt them off with the pressure of a hose, and that should take care of them. You can also use Dimetrius Earth um, and neem oil to help control the population. So hopefully that gives you two ideas if you're dealing with what we're dealing with. I think the other thing I want to show you real quick is one of the thing, reasons that the cabbage leaves are going to curl, that's a sign of an aphid problem. So if you see, you know, this one's not curling at all, beautiful, and then this one's really curling, you can see all those aphids. That's a great shot of that. So I'll get these pulled out. We'll save the one big one. We'll try to use what we can that's edible. And then I think we're going to start planting some... Um, flowers and some cucumbers and some squashes and some melons today. So looking forward to it. Happy Easter. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.